try not to eat too many cheese enchiladas at lunch. You won't make it through the afternoon. You know how that goes. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about these elements of a finding real quick because they are so central to our work. And I just want to kind of uh, make sure we are introduced to them so that when I talk about them, we're like all saying the same thing. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to drill into these in depth. But that's not what we're going to do right now. We're just going to get a general sense of them right now. So each of these elements answers a, answers a question for the reader that they need answered in order to believe our recommendation. Uh, and I believe that there are two recommendations. The GAO doesn't say this, but I think it's good to conceptualize that there are two recommendations. One, you'll see this little line right here, one that resolves the cause and one that resolves the condition because we brought up two problems. So if we don't answer all these questions for the reader, they're left, hang they're left hanging with a critical question outstanding and they're not going to believe us down here in this recommendation. So what question does the condition answer for the reader? What's up? Thanks for playing. What's up? What's the problem? So our first recommendation should resolve the condition, whatever that problem is. So if we're up here, we have a complaint. Down here, we're going to recommend they resolve, take care of that complaint, whatever it is we found. Effect, what question does that answer for the reader? What's the impact? Sweet, thanks for playing. Mm -hmm. I like this, this. I got a little attitude here with all these. This one I say is who cares? My old audit director, Craig Kenton, is now the audit director, city auditor of Dallas, right? This was his favorite question he always tormented us with. We'd bring him a finding and he just wouldn't think it was very sexy or interesting. He'd say, can you make me care about this? And if we couldn't make him care, we took it out of the report because he wasn't going to send some boring, stupid stuff over to the legislature because it was his reputation and his office's shop, his office's reputation at stake, right? What's the cause? What question does that answer for the reader? If you play along, things go faster. Otherwise, it's painfully slow. Thanks for going. Why did the condition happen? When I say that, when I say why, in some other regions of the country, they're like, what did you just say? They look like little dogs, like, what? What was that? That's why, why did the condition happen? Okay, so this is a trigger of that, okay? This, the way I like to say, yeah, okay, that's good. Why did that happen? Criteria, what question does that answer for the reader? How do you know that it happened? Oh, interesting. How did you know that it happened? Would you, someone else says something else. The authority, sweet. I like that. This is the says who. Here's my attitude here. Says who? Your mama? Your daddy? Your grandma? You? <laughs> Remember the contrast I gave you earlier? Good business practice dictates, prudence dictates versus state law number 12 says... When you say prudence dictates or good business practice dictates, the says who is you. And that is not a uh, solid methodology. I forgot to resolve this. The cause is resolved by the second recommendation, resolves the cause. Let's do a super quickie little example. These are not perfect, but it'll give you a sense of how this works. Let's say that you are doing a cash audit 
and you find out that this city that you're auditing has been getting a significant federal grant that they just got this year for the first time.